Hi Gemini, welcome to your daily love reading. My name is Pretty, and I'll be doing your love reading today. So before we begin with your love reading Gemini, please do remember to take what resonates and to leave behind whatever does not. Okay, so let's begin with your love reading Gemini. At the bottom of the deck, we have the Wheel of Fortune. So this is fixed sign energy, Jupiter energy, Taurus, Leo, Scorpio, Aquarius energy. And I am seeing here very a positive shift in a situation. So I am seeing things are turning around here for the better. Things are really looking up and it's in your favor. I am seeing that this is something that is happening in divine timing. You may have waited a long time for this, but finally things are starting to turn around in a good way for you. Things are really looking up, the tables are turning. So if you were down before, you are finally coming up. I'm seeing good news coming your way. Things are just starting to really look up. So let's see what the rest of the cards have to say about this Gemini. Okay, so the first card we have here is the Five of Cups. So this is Water Energy, Cancer Pisces, Scorpio Energy. Next we have the Two of Swords in the reverse, Air Energy, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius Energy. And finally, we have the Six of Cups, Water Energy, Cancer Pisces, Scorpio Energy. Okay, so this is pertaining to a situation from the past that you may have felt didn't end in a good way. You may have regretted how things ended or you may still just be grieving that situation. It may have felt like a loss, an emotional loss. And I do see you may just have felt like things didn't end right. They didn't end on the right foot. And this may have plagued you for a long time, something that you may have really um had remorse over for a long time but this is this is a situation that's coming back around with that um wheel of fortune i do see it coming back around and the past is revisiting here with the six of cups and i see that you're gonna get whatever it is that you you wish you had gotten the first time things ended it's almost like the past hasn't been wrapped up um officially here there is unfinished business here and it's coming back around and this is happening in divine timing so you may have waited a long time for this to happen but it's finally here and you are getting a chance to do things correctly this time i do see that this is someone who you still have um emotions towards you still have emotions towards the situation but there was a heartfelt a painful emotion around it you know you may miss this person. You may wish this person was still in your life. And I do see them coming back because you still have fond memories of this person. There is still warmth there. This person also still feels for you. They still feel towards you. And I do see this is this situation is coming back up and you'll be able to get some clarity. You're getting some answers because with this two of swords energy, you may have felt like you didn't get um, the sufficient closure or you still had unanswered questions around that situation and that person. And I do see you'll be getting those answers now. You're, you're finally going to get the full picture of this. So it may have been hard to let go or to move on because you may have felt like you didn't have all of the information you needed. I do see it coming back around and you'll be getting those answers. Okay, so let's clarify these cards, Gemini. Okay, so at the bottom of the deck, 
we have the six of wands so this is fire energy sagittarius aries leo energy and this is a very successful energy this is a card of getting good news finally achieving something that you've wanted for a long time i do see that this is something you dwelt on for a long time and you're finally getting what it is that you want in that situation so this is very positive energy i am seeing that this is something you've been waiting for and you're finally getting that and i do see things going in a positive direction this is going to make you feel on top of the world i am seeing very you know very good energy here so this is this is something that you want is what i'm seeing so let's see what the rest of the cards have to say about this gemini okay so the first card we have here is the lovers this is your energy gemini you could be dealing with another gemini next you have the high priestess pisces energy and finally we have the ten of wands fire energy sagittarius aries leo energy so you could be dealing with a Pisces or a Gemini. And I am seeing that this is a connection that you feel very strongly. There is a strong pull. It's very intense. It feels like this is your person. There is mutual love here. And I do see you didn't want things to end with this person. Things ended um, abruptly. And um, there is a sense of you didn't want that. You mourned over this person. You, you cried for this person. You waited for this person. Because you do feel that this is your person. This is your other half. And um, there was a separation. But I see it coming back together. With this lover's card. This is you guys coming back into union. And decisions being made around this. Because I do see the past was becoming quite a burden for you. You really couldn't let this go. And it was becoming heavy. Um, it was hard to move on. But I do see this person will come back around and you will have that opportunity to get the closure and the answers that you need. Um, you you will get that um, that safety feeling that you've been longing for. A feeling of, you know, I understand why things happened the way they did. And with the High Priestess, this is also your guides coming through and telling you that you are on the right track. You're divinely protected. Everything is happening the way that it was supposed to happen. So even the separation, it was part of the plan, um, the grand plan. The universe has been working in your favor. This is how it was meant to be. And um, I do see a need for you to trust that the universe has your back, that the universe supports you, that um, you, know, you will be with the person that you're meant to be with. Um, with this lover's card, I do see decisions being made here. And I also see reconnecting with the soul soulmate with the six of cups energy you know the love was never lost there's still that mutual bond and that um tight feeling and i do see that this this burden of mourning the past you'll be dropping that burden soon that is coming to a close um you know this grieving period this depressed period where you know the past is just painful and you cannot let it go I do see it's coming to a close and you will be getting answers that will help you get the closure that you need. And um, any unanswered questions that you've been feeling, you're about to receive them. And I, I see things really going well for this union. You will be connecting with your soulmates. Okay, so Gemini, I am going to pull out an oracle card for you. Okay, so the card says luck is on your side new moon in sagittarius okay so i do see this going well with this wheel of fortune energy things are working out um you have had to be patient but i do see after a period of a lot of sadness remorse pain where you may have even felt like the universe was against you things are starting to turn around in your favor you will be coming into union with your person your soulmates this person that you've been waiting for this person that you've been longing for you will be coming into connection with them and i do see there will be a lot of harmonious energy a lot of love and it'll feel like you are achieving something major that you've been wanting for a long time um this is going to feel quite miraculous things are looking up for you gemini okay so that's what i'm seeing for you gemini i hope you have a really really good day gemini bye gemini